that he did go back with her at the house. I don't know how he got home because that wasn't mentioned to me. Okay. So, who, who was it? Somebody close to the family, or that told you that, or was it? No, it was Candace. So Candace told you that Hunter went back to the house that day. Hunter was with her at the house that day. Welcome to Reporter Room, where we seek truth and justice. My name is Jessica Della Davies. I'm an investigative journalist. Today, we're going to discuss June 15th, the day Summer went missing. And we're going to talk about the swim at the Warriors Path State Park. This is the day that Summer disappeared. Did Allie lie about seeing Summer when Candace dropped off H on June 15th? Candace has always stated that Allie did not come out to the car that day. Allie appeared on Unmasked and detailed going out to Candace's car. She said that normally Summer would wake up and give her a hug, but on that day, she didn't. Was Allie covering for H? Let's go back and consider a text message that surfaced a couple of months ago, purportedly from Grandis to a friend. And shortly, I'm going to share five critical questions that must be answered, so please stay with me. Everything I'm about to share with you today is my opinion, and opinions are not facts, so please don't send any negativity to anyone, anytime, anywhere. Let's be kind and compassionate to each other. Also, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so I know you were here. If you haven't watched my video on five things Dr. Phil did not tell you, you will want to see that because it gives you important background information into this case, and I will link it for you in the description below. So let's look at that text message again. The text message read, Hun, Sum, I, and Candace were planting flowers. That's how it started. So Hun, I assumed, was the person that they're addressing in the text message. However, in the context of what we are now learning, that Allie may not have been truthful in her description of seeing Summer on June 15th when H was dropped back off at her home, let's look at the text message again. Looking at Hun being part of the people who were picking flowers, some is Summer, I, and Candace, so I would be Grandice, and Candace were picking flowers. At the time this surfaced, I assumed that Hun was a term of endearment, and that's why I thought that that's who the text message was addressing. However, it appears now that Hun may actually have been H. So is H more involved than what we originally thought, or was he brought on the outing on June 15th to be a convenient patsy, a fall guy, for Don and Candace? Many are speculating about the revelation that Don and Candace never wanted to have children. However, they had four children together, so at some point they must have wanted the children. However, Summer was not in school yet, and she was about to start school, and also Child Protective Services had a case open into the Wells household. So did Summer's disappearance have anything to do with the Child Protective Services, or anything to do with Summer starting school? So now we're learning from TCO that an alleged neighbor of Allie's is claiming that Allie never went to the car to see Summer on June 15th. However, clearly Candace stopped at Allie's after the outing at Warrior State Park because the video, which is timestamped, that Grandis took by accident doesn't show H sitting in the back seat. We see Summer leaning up against the multiple milk jugs. We see Skittles scattered across the seat in an orange drink. So H was dropped off. So let's look at the message again. When were they planting flowers? Was this at Warriors or did H go to Candace's home on Ben Hill Road. We have five questions we need answers to. One, did Candace drop H off after grocery shopping 
or just stop by to pick up clothing for H. We don't see H in the back seat of the video or photo that Grandis took by accident. We see an orange drink, we see the Skittles. So did H go over to Candace's and Dawn's house later that day? And if Allie didn't come out to the car like she said that she did, and Allie didn't see Summer in the back seat, why did she lie about this detail? Allie went to great lengths to speak about how Summer always woke up when she heard Allie's voice, but this time Summer didn't wake up. Someone's not being honest. Two, why was such an obscure location chosen for swimming? Warriors Path State Park has a swimming pool, which would have been much cleaner and much safer, especially for a little five-year-old girl who didn't know how to swim and didn't have any kind of flotation device or life vest. Why didn't Candace and Grandis take Summer and H to swim at the Warriors Path Swimming Pool? Why choose such an obscure location to go swimming? Was there a nefarious reason that had a need for such an obscure location? We know that Candace bought a Twisted tea. Do you think that was for Grandis? Because I don't. I believe that H was telling the truth when he said it was for him. Since Allie and Candace were not getting along, it's really odd that Candace wanted to hang out with H without Allie. It's really odd that Candace bought a Twisted Tea beverage for an underage minor. So was H brought along to be the perpetrator or the patsy? Was Summer submerged at Warriors? We know from H's and Candace's account that there was some kind of water incident at the Warriors Path State Park. Hear me out. H stated that he thought Summer was submerged underwater for several seconds, but he wasn't sure exactly how long. We know Summer could not swim. We know Summer was not wearing a life vest or any kind of flotation device, and it's unclear if she was being supervised by either Candace or Grandis. We also know that there was a steep drop-off at the watering hole. H stated to Chris McDonough that Summer was underwater, that he removed his shirt and ran in to get Summer. However, Candace vehemently denied this incident ever occurred. Instead, Candace offered a story about H splashing Summer. Listen to this. She stated that she asked H not to splash Summer. And remember when Candace told Chris McDonough that everything felt like it was in slow motion? Was this because something did go down at the swimming hole? Four. What was the real reason for purchasing a twisted tea? Don B has suggested that it might be liquid courage for H. Others, however, have suggested that it was because Candace had designs for H. However, Candace states it was for Grandis. H says it was for him. Grandis knows the truth, and it would be great if she would come forward and speak her truth. It would be great if she could clear this discrepancy up once and for all. Five, why was the last photo slash video even taken of Summer? We know it was an accident. We know Candace has told some story about the way Summer's arm was and it was cute. This is important because some people believe that Candace and Grandis took these images to send to Don Wells to decide whether or not Summer needed to go to the emergency room. Summer's nail beds are dark blue and this is not normal. I have not been able to find any other photos of Summer with the dark blue nail beds that we see in the final photo, and this seems like an ominous sign. What do you think? Subscribe and leave me a comment.